you're right. You okay? Oh, I thought my morning sickness would have stopped by now. Especially because I'm seven and a half months. Or do you want me to get you anything before I leave? Uh, no, I don't think I could hold anything down right now. The thought of food just makes me feel sick. Well, how about you just go back to bed and rest? And just make sure you don't answer the door. Answer the door? Are you expecting a delivery? I'm just saying, look, I just want you to take it easy. Besides, I've got a few clients and a few classes, so I'll call you after, yeah? All right. I'm going to head back to bed. Andre, just the guy I wanted to see. Morning. Is everything okay? Yeah. Uh, can we have a quick chat? Yeah. Come. <sighs> I'm hiring six more PTs, which means there's going to be more pressure on the rest of you. Okay. Also putting up the rent. Up again? Afraid so. How much? 220. A week? Yeah. I could barely afford the rent now. Andre, you're one of our best PTs. I'm sure you'll be fine. So when does this start? Monday. Monday? Yeah. It's Thursday. We have to make these changes quickly. Is that everything? Yeah. Andre. Let's just see how the next few weeks pan out, yeah? You've got quite a few clients already. I'm sure you'll be fine. Yeah, hopefully. Let me see if I can throw a few more your way. Thanks. Andre. How are you doing, man? You good? Not bad, man. We ain't got a session today, though, didn't Nah, we? I just came for a little run, you know. Uh, but it's good. I wanted to see you. I wanted to talk about our session, you know. Okay. Uh, well, what about? I can't make it tomorrow, man. Okay, what about the following day? I've got a few slots in the evening. That's the thing. I, I can't make any of them. I'm going to need to cancel the rest of our sessions. Today. We've still got like eight left. I know, but you know how it is. Work is busy. It's taking over my life right now. I don't really have the time to be coming to the gym. Okay. And plus, you know, Christmas is coming up. My wife wants to take the kids to Croatia. I'm going to have to save up for that as well. I totally get it. Yeah. You know what, I'll transfer your remainder by the evening, yeah? If you could, that would be amazing. Look, I'll run another client. Yeah? yeah? Good to see you, though, man. You too. Hello, Sean? Yeah, it's Andre. Yeah, you was meant to have a consultation booked in with me today. Okay. Uh, what about tomorrow? Okay. Well, what about the next? Hello?
Yo, listen, hey, yo, I'm filling up in Clisso Park. It's like the crib again, every other night. So for surfing at a different friend's caring for your parent gets so hard trying to live with them. It's part of the life, resenting all that time you have to give to them. Tensions start to rise, the vibes growing bigger. They say the time heals, but time can't. Mum, please don't stress. How can I not stress? There's no food in the house. Do you know your voice is in there? Why don't you just come home? I can't. Look, this is not the kind of environment I want you to bring up my grandchildren. Well, he's doing the best that he can. Are you not taking this seriously? Like, have you got all your stuff yet? Not yet. What do you mean, not yet? What about the nappies and the bottles? Have you even packed your hospital bag? Sometimes I wish you'd just be a bit more nice. Carol, I didn't know you was here. Yeah, she came to check on us, you know, see how we're doing. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. You okay, yeah? You look tired. You're overworking yourself. Yeah, I'm okay. Um, babes, I'm gonna go back to work, innit? I've got a few evening plans, yeah? You're gonna be here when I get back? Probably not. <sighs> All right, well, I'll see you anyway. But, uh, babes, I'll bring some food on the way back, yeah? All right. Yeah, see you later. What's he gonna bring you, a Happy Meal? Mum, stop. Six more. Ah, oh, one second, okay. Hello? Oh, Andre, I'm going into labour. What? All right, listen, don't panic, yeah? I'm on my way. I'm really sorry, but I've got to go. But no one above me, I trust it. You in a heartbeat, but you will fuck grease, you want it Control or something real, call no bluffing, yeah you loved it Fate like McLovin, now it's done and dusted Design view from my bedroom, Hollywood in my eyes People showing fake love, really praying for their minds Hey, thanks Listen, you really need to take it easy I'm okay. They just said it's Braxton Hicks. Yeah, but this could have been the real deal. I mean, just try and listen to what they're telling you and just relax a bit more, yeah? Alright. You hungry? I'm starving, but there's, there's no food in the cupboard. Alright, I'm gonna go shop and get a few things, yeah? Don't do anything. Okay. Alright. All right. Hey yo, it hurts when you look into their eyes and the fire's dim And yeah, it's only grand we got crushed by the tide All the while we just try to swim And when that love gets no easier The pity starts to rise no matter how hard you try to resist And when you're trying to replace this Unattached minds trying to thrive in this life of sin Aware of the time that's remaining Sat in the kitchen with the lights off 
four in the morning and I can't sleep Is every time I drift off it feels like I can't breathe Hear my ribs bouncing with my heartbeat Then my vision slows again It's like I froze again Clutching at my chest Feeling like it's turned to stone again And then that image shifts We sat up on that bridge side spinning sticks No, he isn't. Okay, well it is. We are reinforcement officers. And we've been sent by Newham Council, yeah, to retrieve the sum of two thousand two hundred and forty-four pounds and ninety-one pence. Well, he isn't here at the moment. Can you come back? Oh, I can't do that, you know. What's this about? Your husband is well aware of what this is about. This isn't the first time we've had to come for this amount. I'm going to call him. I think that's probably best. And please inform him of the amount. That's outstanding which is due to council tax arrears, parking fines, and outstanding gas and water bills. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call him. Can you move your foot, please? I can't do that, you know. What? Bailiff's at the house. All right, I'm coming now. You know how long it's going to be, madam? We'll be back any minute. Can you move your foot, please? Sorry, I can't do that, you know. You can wait outside. Can you just move your foot? Calm down, madam. We don't want to cause you any more stress. Then move your foot. Can I help you? Are you Mr. Baptiste? Yeah. Listen, we are enforcement officers and we've been sent by the courts. Wait, let me go upstairs. Let me sort this out, yeah? You sure? Yeah, yeah, do it. All right. What we want to do, we'd like to settle the amount of £395.87 for council tax arrears, £549.54 for outstanding parking tickets, and another order for your gas and water bill, which comes to the sum of £1,299.50. Look, I don't have that kind of money. That's why we're here to help you, sir. So you can either get someone to help you settle this amount in full, or we have the legal right to go inside and take goods to the equal amount that's owed. Look, you're going to make my missus go into labour early. We understand that you're going through a rough time right now, you know. All right, so why don't you just give me more time, just to, just to get it? No. Listen, you can't do that, you know. You've had enough time already. Andre, what's going on? I've sorted it. Just like that, yeah? Yeah. Andre, they're bailiffs. They told me how much you owe. Why did you let it get this bad? I don't know. I guess things started piling up and I lost control. Why didn't you say anything before it got this bad? I'm trying to look after you, and I know you're mad at me right now, but I am trying my best. And I guess you're sick and tired of hearing this, but just trust me, I will sort this. I could help, but I can't. Well, think of it as a loan. You'll get the money back. It's just that friend and money combination never works. I've tried it before. It did not end well. Oh, let's put even like a schedule. Come on, Steph. This is me. I'm sorry. Isn't there anyone else you could ask? Yeah, you know, what about your aunt? No. 
I'm sorry, I really want to help. It's just... Yeah, I get it. You've got a family to look out for. You know what, I need to get to work. I'm going to see you in gym on Friday, yeah? yeah I'll call you. Twins, one in each colour. Are you online shopping? Yeah, well, I'm just looking, but I think we should get these. Listen, we need to talk. About what? Remember I told you things were tight at the moment? Well, they won't always be, but... I was thinking maybe we can ask your mum for some help. My mum? Yeah, no, but I just thought... So you want me to ask my mum for money? Well, yeah. Well, no. But when you say it like that, it sounds bad. I don't understand what changed. I spoke to you earlier on and everything was fine. Well, I was on top of everything before. Well, now everything's on top of me. <sighs> you know my mum's going to ask me to come home, right? We well, don't need to tell her everything. Just tell her you need some help to buy a few things. <sighs> I can't believe this. You're just making me feel worse. Well, how do you expect me to react? I'm eight months pregnant and we have nothing. Man, you expect me to earn a living. You know I rely on my clients and at the minute they will cancel on me left, right and centre. But you expect me to pay the rent, insurance, council tax. I am trying. Hey, Mum. It's me. Look, to be totally honest with you, I'm struggling. I mean, the combination of the rent going up and the new trainers, I'm, it's just not working. Let me see if I can send a few more clients your way. Well, that's to be urgent. Naomi's due soon and we haven't got anything yet. I'll see what I can do. You know, if worse comes to worse, I could always just lend you the money. I'm not trying to get into a borrowing money situation. Besides, I promised my girl. Fair enough. I reckon if you can manage your way through the Christmas period, you should be able to make a killing come January. You know what it's like? Work always dries up this time of year. Yeah, but I've got two more mouths to feed now. Before it's to be just me and Naomi. I can't afford to go broke. I'll see what I can do. Thanks. All right, let's go for the last. 10 reps, here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, expire on the way down. 5, 4, 3, 2, Check my online banking and you've been using my credit card. I didn't. Wait, wait, what? What lies are you gonna give me next, huh? Hmm? Look, let me let me just sort this. You maxed out my credit card. Did you even think about me, us, our relationship, our family, our future? Relationship is supposed to be built on communication and trust. But that's something we don't have anymore, do we? I don't 
even know who you are anymore. The person I love wouldn't do this. Look, you know how tight it gets with me around Christmas with clients cancelling and... I don't even want to hear this. I'm going to give birth any day soon and we have nothing. Alright, let me just get this back. When? Hmm? How? do this anymore. I, I can't. And what does that mean? Voicemail again. <sighs> Look, babes, I know everything seems bad right now, but I can fix it. <sighs> Look, I don't want you to think I got into this situation by being irresponsible. To be honest, it all started when I had to pay my mom's funeral fees. I started falling behind on the rent, the council tax, then started getting parking tickets from all over the place. Look, you and the babies mean everything to me. I can't lose you. I need you. No, Mum, I didn't sleep properly last night. I was tossing and turning. 
I don't know if I've done the right thing, but it's too late now. I've blocked him now. I didn't want to keep getting bombarded with calls and texts. It just made me feel so much worse. Hmm. house. No, 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 oh God! <laughs> 